Hey guys, it's Taylor. I'm here with a tip finally. I know I've been a little absent. Um, it's just been a crazy month, what can I say? I think you are more um, aware than ever about just some of the things that have been going on. And so I have just been really just getting acclimated to the switch from working in my nine to five office to coming full time at home to work. Um, and you know, getting all of that good stuff settled and also have been helping a couple clients. So it's just been a little busy and you know, everything's new and fresh and you just sort of have to get acclimated to the new conditions. So I pray you and your family are doing well, you're safe and you're healthy at home. Um, but I did want to come on here and share my tip, which is basically, I have a few tips in this video. Hopefully I'll be on here more often now that I am settled at home. I can come on here more than just once a week with my tips. Um, but number one, please stay safe and please stay sanitized. Um, the, the sooner we all abide by this quarantine or this social distancing, stay at home order, shelter in place order, whatever it's called where you live, please just abide by it. Um, the sooner we do that and the sooner we all make the decision that we're going to do everything in our power to stop the spread of COVID-19, the sooner we can all go to business as usual. There's people losing their jobs. There's people, you know, there's things that are bigger than you and your want to be around people. So let's make sure we're all doing what we can to service our community and the health of our nation. So that's tip number one. Um, I didn't go into details about how you can do that. I mean, I want you to just look up your local, um, cause I don't know where all of you live. If you, leave, if you don't know where to look it up, I will be a resource and I will do the research for you. Just drop your county down below, your state, your county, your city, whatever. I'm more than willing to do that for you guys. Um, and then, so my secondary tip is, how can a realtor still be of service to you during these times? Well, for me personally, I can only speak to me, obviously. Um, I chose a cloud brokerage for a reason. EXP Realty is a fully remote a real estate brokerage, okay? We've been called the Amazon of real estate. Um, so for me and my personal needs, I am very modern technology um, oriented. I'm a blogger, a vlogger. Um, I do a lot of my personal businesses, my small businesses that I run all online. Um, so we are pretty acclimated to the virtual space. And so I can pretty much handle, you know, setting up video calls, conferences, meetings, meeting you that way, figuring out your needs and wants. All of those things, we can still do full service for you guys. Um, with eXp, we have 71 plus tools purely electronic, purely just to service you guys virtually. Um, so we're prepared for this type of thing. I mean, this isn't gonna be the first or last time when, you know, the world seems turned upside down. We're prepared to still help you guys. It's still, you know, we're still here to serve you. Now, when it comes to showings, we are obviously going to have to make some changes in that arena. Um, housing is essential though. I know a friend of mine who's a realtor in Oklahoma actually said, you know, it's it was clearly lined out in their um, mandate that since housing is essential, that they're able to still show. Um, of course, it's up to the sellers in Oklahoma and here. It's up to the people selling the home. If they're still living in the home, if they're going to allow people to come in and view. However, Based off of the things that we know about the virus, um, the reason basically the whole nation has taken precautions to be more secluded at home, the social distancing order for all of us, we, it's pretty common sense that we may not even want to go into a home that is preoccupied and lived in by those sellers because we don't know if they are possibly sick. A lot of the times the people who have attracted the virus aren't showing symptoms for the first two weeks. So it's better safe, especially if you, this is not an immediate or ASAP move or need that we, you know, slow the physical showings for now. 
Um, but again, with modern technology times, there's always the option for a virtual showing and a virtual tour of the property. I actually did this for a client yesterday who needed to move from Oklahoma to Texas, so therefore showings would have had to be pre-scheduled. She would have to travel down here. I was planning to line up multiple properties we could go view for her needs. However, she was on a shorter time period, so that would have needed to be done today, yesterday. We had to obviously cancel those plans. But I did reach out to that listing agent and she thankfully already had plans to get a virtual tour of the property done. Not only was this property vacant, which is also another plus, but she was already planning to get that virtual tour done. I just asked beforehand, um, so they had to move their plans a little earlier to accommodate um, our needs but thankfully my client fell in love with the property even more so that we're looking to move forward on that property um, so we are able to still service you guys it's just gonna be done a little different so please you know work with us it's not only for our safety but it's for you and your family's safety as well um, but reach out if you have any questions and to see you know what you can do or what we can do to accommodate you I've still been searching um, calling counties you know specifically specific lined out restrictions to see if all realtors are going to be doing what I'm doing, which is going to be, you know, really pushing these listing agents and these sellers to provide a virtual tour of the space. And if at that point my client wants to move forward, then we can see, but they want to see it in person, which is completely fine. And it is advised to see it in person. Um, then we can go forward and we can see what we can work out to see this place in person whether that be we go in in a full you know plastic suit or masks and gloves and you know all of that good stuff we will find a way when it comes time for your need to be met so i think the key word here is need and essential um so whatever those two things are for you and your family we will find a way to make that work but i, I did want to let you guys know that you know we are still of use and we can still accommodate you and your needs you're not stuck you're not trapped um, if you need to move, you need to move. It's simple as that. So let us know. Um, and we, we obviously still are going to do whatever we can do to serve you. Um, but again, I, I pray that you and your family are safe and you're healthy at home. Um, and you're practicing all the health um, guidelines out there to help stop the virus. And just keep your, your energy positive. Um, I personally have been off social media a little bit that's why I haven't been as active on here and that's why this tip is a little late um, because you know there's just a lot of things that we are often exposed to when, with all the news articles and the daily updates and the daily changes to the rules and all of that good stuff so keep um, you and your family's mind in a positive space and you know get outside daily for some fresh air and um you know just try to live a normal life even though we're in not so normal times but if there's anything i can do again let me know and i will talk to you guys soon bye